Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is West FPV. I want to show you how I uh, connect to Betaflight wirelessly using ELRS. So uh, let's hop into what you need to get this done. The first thing you need is a Android type device that runs the Android operating system. Uh, because you'll go to the GitHub and you'll download the .apk uh, for Android type devices. I'm using the Amazon Kindle. Uh, I'm so, I was actually surprised it worked on this, but you know, all Android phones that have Wi-Fi, this, this will definitely work on. Uh, so once you get that download and installed, you'll have the Betaflight app on your device. Uh, you, wanna be, you wanna make sure you get the right configurator when you're downloading it off of GitHub because when I tried this before, I downloaded the most recent configurator and it wouldn't connect wirelessly to e ELRS, but I uh, uninstalled it and then downloaded the previous version and it seemed to work really well after that. So I, I don't know what the problem there was, but if, if you're having a problem where it's not connecting, that could be the issue. Um, next, you'll need, uh, obviously, an ELRS uh, receiver and transmitter. I use the ceramic antennas on my uh, receiver for racing. Uh, I don't really fail, I've never fail safe in a race, so pretty good. And they can do the Wi-Fi uh, connectivity, so that's, that's pretty cool. All right, so before we get started uh, in Betaflight on your uh, Android device, in the ports tab right here, you see where it says TCP colon slash slash 10.0.0.1. You'll want to type that in and uh, have that saved in there because that is the IP of your ELRS receiver. Now, if that doesn't work for you, you there could be a chance you've changed the IP of your ELRS receiver and you'll need to go into the ELRS configurator to find the Wi-Fi network of your ELRS device once it's in Wi-Fi connectivity mode to figure out the IP or connect to the Wi-Fi of the device and see it on your Android device. But you'll need to figure out the IP of it, and you type TCP colon slash slash the IP. But most ELRS receivers, all the ones I own, were 10.0.0.1. So just keep that in mind. So once you have that typed in and ready, the what you want to do is plug in your drone. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my heavy metal here. Shout out to turtle mode. We're going to launch the ELRS Lua. You want to go down to Wi-Fi connectivity. And then you want to enable RX Wi-Fi. Now, once that happens, it'll disconnect and mine like vibrates. And then you want to go to your Android device, go to your Wi-Fi. You find Express LRS RX, connect to that. Mine's already going to automatically connect, but it's going to ask you for a Wi-Fi password and it's just going to be Express LRS, uh, all lowercase. All right, so now uh, that you have that typed in, mine's already in there because I've done this previously, but you can see it's 10.0. whatever. So it, it recognizes it from before once I've plugged in my drone and everything. But all you got to do is just click connect. And we are inside a beta flight. That is the actual drone. You can see the accelerometer data right there. You can change PID tunes. You can do almost everything besides edit the uh, CLI. That's the only thing you can't do inside of here. Uh, just because uh, NSP does not go over Wi-Fi. But um, you also can't do presets because you're not connected to the internet, obviously. But if you need to make some quick adjustments in motors, whatever, OSD, PID tuning, you'll be able to do it on the fly with ELRS and no Bluetooth setup. I like this method too because you don't you you don't have to use any extra UARTs to put like Bluetooth on it. If you want to add Bluetooth to your flight controller, it's all on one UART. Uh, it's pretty simple to do once you get it down. I'm gonna unplug my drone though, that HD zero. But uh, I hope you guys found this helpful. Uh, and if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.